Hey everybody, it is Jer. Um, I am pumped, excited, happy, overjoyed about this. Um, this is something I was waiting for. This is something a lot of us have been waiting for. Um, Waiter has finally, uh, like, like they finally started talking, well, Carl Grimstad, the CEO, has finally started talking more about uh, their move into uh, cannabis. And um, whenever I first mentioned this, someone had said, oh, Waiter doesn't make one red penny about or from cannabis, from weed sales, from uh, weed delivery, from any of it. Uh, waiter doesn't have anything to do with weed. And that person is wrong. <laughs> um, and what confirms that is, I actually wrote about this on um, undervaluedaf.com. You can go visit that. Um, and uh, what confirms it is uh, Carl actually uh, at the food on delivery uh, dot com, uh, the food on I believe it's called food on delivery conference or food delivery conference. I don't know. Anyways, it was in Vegas. Um, Carl said uh, so. On the article says Carl Grimstad, CEO of Waiter Holdings, is bullish on the delivery of another product with legal barriers, cannabis. The biggest opportunity I see now in cannabis, we provide payment services. Uh, or <laughs> the biggest, op I'm so excited about this that I'm like messing this up. Uh, the biggest opportunity I see now is cannabis. We provide payment services for over 300 dispensaries currently. Currently, right now, 300 dispensaries are using waiters' uh, payment uh, services. Um, which is exciting. That means that we are waiter is already making money from the cannabis sector, which means that it shouldn't be too much longer before waiter starts to move into cannabis delivery. And that's exciting because, um, of course the company can grow further into, uh, that market. Um, the biggest opportunity I see now is cannabis. We provide payment services for over 300 dispensaries currently. As the regulatory uh, environment state by state evolves, you're going to see us go after the sector. Uh, you can read all the statistics. Uh, the growth in cannabis over the next five years is going to be enormous. What I like about it is it's super messy right now, he added. Uh, until it's federal legal, it's going to be an opportunity because the bigger guys aren't going to touch it. Absolutely, they are not. Um, I had seen today, actually, that Uber Eats um, is uh, going into cannabis. Um, they are doing it, I believe it's in Calgary, Canada. However, however, they are not going to deliver cannabis yet. They are just going to offer it for sale so people can go on Uber Eats, purchase it through Uber Eats, but they have to pick it up. They cannot, they are not delivering it. So um, I hope and pray that uh, Waiter is able to take advantage of this, take advantage of their position in this market and grow out and hopefully start doing deliveries before a lot of the bigger players like DoorDash and Uber Eats and uh, Grubhub start delivering uh, cannabis uh, in the markets where it's legal. Um, this is big. This is pretty big. Um, so this is kind of the first step into that market. Um, I've talked about it before, but uh, Waiter actually has um, actually has uh, trademarks uh, for Dude Cannabis, um, and Dude Cannabis is actually its own company, like LLC. So um, that's exciting. Uh, and it looks like they have trademarks also for to be able to open dispensaries and to sell uh, cannabis related products. So it's exciting to see where this is going to go um, and to think about uh, the opportunity that this brings uh, to Waiter to become an even bigger uh, uh, weed stock. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, if you get the chance, go and read 
uh, that article that I wrote up. It gives more details about everything. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Mwah.